The protection of a community's drinking water source and associated watershed area is vital to ensuring clean and safe drinking water for its residents. The designation of a protected public water supply area allows for greater control over activities that may cause a negative impact on drinking water quality. If a community is having difficulty with illegal, non permitted, or even permitted activity in the protected public water supply area, the Department of Environment and Climate Change, Water Resources Management Division, can assist communities with enforcement by providing motion sensitive trail cameras that can help document such activities. This is an informational video on how to obtain, install, and operate the Reconnect Cyberfire 2 trail camera that will be provided to the community upon request. If the community notices a recurring problem or illegal activity in their protected water supply area that may benefit from camera surveillance, then contact the environmental scientist for the region and request the use of the camera. If the camera is available at the time of the request, the environmental scientist will arrange to have the camera package delivered to the community. Prior to receiving the package, a representative of the community must complete the trail camera loan program form, which will be used to document the equipment loaned as well as relevant contact information. When you receive your trail camera package, it will come with the Hyperfire 2 trail camera, a metal enclosure for the trail camera as well as four mounting bolts, the master lock Python lock that can be used in conjunction with the metal enclosure or just with the standalone camera. If you open up the camera, it comes preloaded with 12 rechargeable Energizer AA batteries as well as a 64 gigabyte Lexar SD memory card. Package also includes a charging station for the rechargeable batteries. When you're ready to install the trail camera, it's imperative that you select the right location to ensure the camera works as intended. When selecting a location, consider the camera's motion sensitive and must be within 30 meters of the area you wish to monitor and have a clear field of view. Obstructions such as branches, tall grasses, and other objects that may move in the wind will trigger the motion sensor, and this will lead to the camera taking an abundance of unwanted photos, which can occupy large amounts of memory on the SD card and drain the batteries. When you've selected a location to install the trail camera, there are a couple of mounting options. One option is to use the metal enclosure and the four mounting bolts to attach the enclosure to the tree. The second option is to use the included web strap as well as the master lock python lock that can fasten the camera to the tree to prevent theft. It's also important that you place the camera in a location where it's least likely to be noticed by members of the public. When installing the camera using either method, it's recommended to install at the height of the object you're trying to capture. Capture people and vehicles, the optimal height is approximately four to five feet above the ground. Once the camera has been mounted in the correct location, open the camera by opening the side latch and turn the power switch to the on position. When the camera powers on, the date and time will appear on the display for a few seconds. You can refer to the owner's manual for instructions on how to make corrections to the date and time if required. After a few seconds, the date and time will disappear and you'll be able to navigate the main menu of the camera by using the left and right arrow keys. Navigate the main menu until you see the walk test option and press OK. When in walk test, you can close the camera and walk back to the desired distance in which you want your photos taken. When you're at the correct distance, walk back and forth in front of the camera to ensure that the camera is detecting the motion, which will be indicated by a red light flashing on the right side of the camera lens. When you're satisfied that the camera is detecting motion at the right distance, you can either let the camera automatically arm itself after two minutes in walk test mode, or return to the camera and manually arm the camera by selecting OK, and then navigating the main menu until arm camera appears on the screen and pressing OK. After 10 seconds, the camera will be armed and begin taking photos. When returning to check on the camera, Open the camera and activate the display by pressing either arrow on the keypad. Once the display is activated, it will show the amount of memory used, the amount of remaining battery, and how many pictures or videos have been taken. If you want to view the photos or videos on the SD card, simply switch the power switch to the off position, locate the SD card to the left of the keypad, and push into release. Once the SD card has been removed, you can plug it into a computer or an SD card reader to view the photos or videos. Here are two examples of photos taken with the trail camera. On the left is a photo taken during the day, and on the right is a photo taken during the night using the infrared night vision mode. As you can see, the date and time is clearly stamped in the top left hand corner of each photo. When the required photos have been obtained, or the community no longer requires use of the camera, 
The equipment sawed out under the Trail Camera Loan Program form must be collected and returned to the environmental scientists to be reallocated to other communities who may request the use of the equipment. This message has been brought to you by the Government of Newfoundland and Labrador.